Atlanta, it's still innovating, but it's not so large that you don't have that community sense. And when you come here, people are so welcoming and open to sharing experiences with you and recommending their favorite spots in their neighborhood. I'm Tina Jimenez. I'm Caro Jimenez. We're foodie sisters, and together we operate the social media channel, Always Hungry Atlanta, where we highlight the best hidden gems in the city. We're excited to welcome you to our world here in Atlanta. We hope you're hungry. So Always Hungry came about when me and Tina were in a job transition and we were just wondering what to do next and we've always been very passionate about food so we were like, why don't we start like an actual food blog? And we've always gotten people telling us, you know, we actually listen to your recommendations, tell us where to go to dinner, where's a good date night? So we actually put together in our platform the recommendation list based on people's wants and needs of where to go in the city and we built it from there. Our food palette developed way back when our parents got here from Colombia. So they were more into seeking international food. It wasn't only making Colombian food at home. So we were open to trying different types of restaurants. So a lot of the times we choose places based on what our audience wants to see. We'll get a lot of comments and messages saying, hey, where do I go for a date night in this neighborhood? Or where's a group friendly dining spot that we can go to? Or if it's in a specific area that people want to see more of. Not only is there different cuisine in Atlanta, but there's different levels of dining. So you got upscale, mid-range, or hole in the wall, and different authenticities within those ranges. We're so excited to take you guys on a foodie journey with us to see all of our favorite spots here in Atlanta. Anytime someone asks for recommendations, these are our go-to. Since breakfast is such an important meal to get you going for the rest of the long day, we love Buttermilk Kitchen to kick off our mornings. How you doing, ladies? Good, how are you? We're so excited. Buttermilk is an Atlanta staple. It's run by a chef known as the Biscuit Queen. They're known for their stacked chicken biscuits and they make their own pimento cheese in-house, which is basically the caviar of the South. And you can't come here without getting a side of their jam for their biscuits. For our favorite meal of the day, brunch, we're going to Casi Cielo, which means almost heaven, so you can imagine how amazing their food is. And the cool thing is that their chef is actually Colombian, so they'll sprinkle in little Colombian ingredients into their high-end Mexican cuisine, so we love that fusion. One very unique aspect about Casi Cielo is that they actually open for brunch every single day of the week. We love their vibe. They have live music on the weekends and they're actually one of the biggest mezcal bars in America. And their desserts are to die for. I think they have like the best bread pudding I've ever tasted. Le Bon Noche is the perfect midday treat. Just grab a friend, have a cappuccino and a pastry. It has a beautiful interior decor that brings a European cafe vibe to Atlanta. Hi, welcome in. What can I get for you today? I think I'm gonna do the rose cappuccino, please, and then the almond croissant. They look so good. I will do the turmeric tea. Okay. And then I think it'll pair well with one of your pistachio cakes. It will. So yeah, we'll do that. So cool. <laughs> they have perfectly flaky and buttery croissants that just crisp when you pull them apart, and they're perfect to dip in their foamy cappuccinos. For dinner, of course, Lazy Betty. Well, greetings, good evening, how are we doing? Good evening, good evening. we're good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, I'm glad you all are here. Thanks for coming out to see us, welcome to Lazy Betty. Okay. So we already have your course menu set out for you. We've also paired that with a few cocktails for you to enjoy. I would definitely recommend sitting at the bar so that you can see how the chefs prepare the meals. It's like a show. With the smokiness from the trout, these tropical notes from the cocktail are gonna kinda help balance that out and cut through some of that richness. And if you want your taste tailored a certain way, they accommodate it. They have a lot of different vegan and vegetarian options as well. Everything is literally perfect there. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Awesome. So outside of the restaurant environment, which also ties into the foodie scene, is the Beltline, which used to be a railroad. And it connects to different parts of the cities connects to Piedmont Park, which is a big park here in Atlanta. It connects to different markets, restaurants, and it's just so interesting to grab your bike and go from one side to the other and just experience so many different things and just very interactive. We definitely recommend people going to Pond City Market. That also connects to the Beltline. It used to be an old factory, so it has an industrial vibe and it has different local vendors, shops, food, and dining. Something unique you can do in Atlanta is actually come to the Epicurean Hotel. There are so many unique restaurants and it's a very popular spot here in Atlanta. 
they have a special chef experience in their theater where the chef guides you through their vision, flavor profiles of each dish, and really their inspiration, and you get to go on that journey with them while you're tasting it. Perfect combination of like textures and flavors, like all combined. And I like to do everything, you know, creamy, crunchy, sweet, sour, you know, bitter, hot, spicy. Chef tastings are so special because the chef takes you on a journey through their life and puts it on a plate in front of you. So things you didn't know could go together and flavor profiles end up in front of you and they taste amazing. So for happy hour, we like to go to this place called Estrella and it's a rooftop vibe for cocktails and friends. Oh, and it's a great central location, prime real estate on the Beltline. And we love that they always have Latin music playing. So it's great that we can come together with friends that live in different neighborhoods and all enjoy one experience together. I think it's so special that we run a small business and we can impact and give results to all the local businesses in Atlanta that we work with. Our videos and our content really impact their results, so it really helps drive us. And I definitely recommend people coming to Atlanta to not necessarily go to the tourist places, you know, venture out to other neighborhoods in the area, and the community will naturally take you in and share it with you.